gathering keywords for your title, your subtitle, your seven backend keywords, and also niche research is critically important because getting those together, getting the right ones, will definitely help you to sell more books and develop more of a passive income with KDP Publishing. Hi, my name is Romney, and thank you very much for joining me on my channel. If you haven't been to the channel before, it's all about creating, building, and scaling a self-publishing business. And I'm also the creator of the Publishing Accelerator, which is the low and no content publishing course. If you're interested in something like that, just check out the links below. So I'm going to go through the different techniques that I use to gather all of my keywords for my titles and subtitles and all the different elements that go into uh, getting the book together, making sure it's uh, uploaded properly, I've done my right, the right niche research, and then making sure that I launch it properly with all of these keywords. But what are the different techniques you can actually use to gather these keywords? Because there's quite actually quite a few. So I'm going to run through the different techniques that I use. So hopefully you can use them to implement for your own publishing as well. So let me get into that now. So let's jump into this now. What we're going to be doing, we're going to be focusing on a particular keywords or a niche because that's the first thing you need to focus on when you're doing your keyword research is to know exactly the kind of niche you're going in for. Or even you might have a bit of a title or some sort of initial keywords that you might like to search for. Because when we're using our keywords, we need to, need to use them for our titles, our subtitles. Um, we need to use them for... Uh, the different uh, back-end keywords that you might be using as well when you're loading your book to KDP. So they're the kind of things that you use your keywords for. But there are quite a few ways we can actually extract these keywords. So the first thing we need to do though, before we start doing our search, is to actually develop a tracker. So we can track all of our keywords in the one document. Then we can filter through the search results and all the different results that we get for our keywords. So let me show you what that tracker could look like. So this is the tracker that I'll provide for free and I'll provide a link to this in my Gumroad store, which you can just download and use. You may have already downloaded something similar to this before in regards to um, a niche tracker, but what you can also use this for is your keyword tracker as well. Because once you list your keywords down here, then you can also use your title creation, subtitle creation from those keywords. And you can also look at a previous video, which I'll link up above regarding the niche research as well and how to use this tracker as well. So let's get into this. We're going to use the main keywords or a niche of camping and RV camp, or sorry, we might do camping and RV travel journal or something similar to that anyway. And what we want to do is go back to Amazon. And first thing is we're going to get the keywords or the suggested keywords that Amazon will provide us. But there are two Chrome extensions that if you don't have them already, I want you to uh, download. So it actually makes your keyword um, uh, ability or ability to track the keywords and extract the keywords much, much easier. So let's go back to Amazon now and I'll show you what they are. Right, so what we're going to do is just write in the top here, uh, we can do camping and RV travel journal. And as you can see, we've got our two suggested keywords that Amazon will bring up. And then after it, there are extra keywords that are coming up. So if we just go back here again and write that, oops. you'll start to see these extra keywords that float up. And if we go into books, a similar thing will start to happen as well, where all these extra keywords come up. Now, the way I'm getting these is by using this uh, uh, link here, or this Chrome extension called AMZ Suggestion Expander. Now that's a Chrome extension, and all you need to do is Google AMZ Expander. I'll quickly show you now how to find it. And because if you just go to Google and Google AMZ Suggestion Expander, this will come up showing you what it does and you need to add it. I don't want to remove it, but you can add it and you can also make sure that um, um, as part of this, that you have it for, um, you know, for incognito mode as well. So to do that, you go down to where it is here 
and you go to manage extensions you simply go down to this bit allow in incognito and you turn that on so that's how you do that one uh, so let's go back again to uh, our results so if we are on this bit what we would do is we would start to write these words down. Now you can either write them individually, go back and forth. What I normally like to do is just do a print screen. I go back to our tracker and then I'll write those words down there and might be RV, travel uh, and camping notebook. And we just keep repeating these. There might be a planner, all different things. But what our aim is here is to make sure that we get as many of those keywords as we can that the, that the expanded go. So if you just go back to camping journal, then this will bring up more. So what we would do, we print screen again, we go back to our tracker, and we would start writing down all of these different keywords and you'd start to develop quite, quite a comprehensive list. So I'll pause this quickly and I'll just add a few of these ones. Right, so once you start to add all those words, I won't add every single one in, but you'd continue to use the um, uh, the Amazon extension, or oh, sorry, the Amazon keyword uh, bar, and with the extension, you keep doing that. You might just want camping RV, and then you'll see what comes up as well. You might do camping holiday journal, and then you start to enter these words if there's any that come up. You just make sure that you go through all the different combinations you think might be suitable for you. Might do RV camping, and then you might see some other ones in here as well, which you can enter. So you again, print screen, go down here, and then you add it to where you need to. And it's just about making sure that you're getting all these all these special keywords in so it depends on what your title is going to be potentially but you can use these keywords for your title and subtitle uh, to get everything in so once you've got them in let's just do this last one of book then what you would do with each of these this is for the search results so we might actually get that and place it over where it should be which is here what we've got here is our long or short tail keyword. So a short tail keyword usually consists of you know, two to three words. So we call it a short tail keyword. And then for the long tail, this one would be here, camping journal for kids, girls, six to 12 years old, long tail keyword. And you just add them in. So if we go here, that would be a short tail keyword. That would probably be a short tail keyword. That would be a short tail keyword. This one would be a long tail keyword. And you just make sure that you keep adding the respective ones in. Now, the other thing you do, if we're looking at a different keywords, if we grab this one here and we copied it and we go across to our Amazon search bar, we enter this in here and we go OK. What we're looking for are these results here. So this camping journal and travel logbook, it is a competitive niche with those keywords. We would write 30,000 results in, into our uh, search results here, which was that one just there. And let's do it again. And we need to know the number of books under 150,000 BSR on page one. So we would go through and we'd say, but uh, no, 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 no. There's one, two, and three. So on page one, this keyword would have three books under 150k on uh, under you know uh, on page one, and you'd continue to do that for those keywords. Now that is one technique. That's just one. So that is using Amazon as our search bar to find those keywords. 
However, if we want to now look at another way, so I'm going to show you um, step number two in regards to these keywords. And before I forget, to be able to get the BSR like this, this Chrome extension is called DS Amazon Quick View. And if you hold over the top, you can get all the results, but that's where you get the BSR number like this and the ASIN number as well. So that's called DS Amazon uh, Quick View. So if we go here and we have a look at the settings of this one, we just go here. Again, you can just do a Google search for Chrome extensions and DS Amazon Quick View will actually be the one that you need to download. And here it shows you all the different things that DS Amazon Quick View will show you. And you just need to add that. And you also can uh, add it to your incognito mode as well. But let's go back to uh, getting those keywords. So the next one is using keywords uh, everywhere. So that is a Chrome, another Chrome extension, which I've got, which is just here. Uh, so if we go into keywords everywhere as a tool, and again, you can add this as a Chrome extension. And what it does is shows you the keywords, related keywords that people are searching for when they are obviously looking for a book like this one. And we need to uh, work through the list and add these ones as well. And so that's another great way of doing it. Again, you can use it in incognito mode and you can use it for free. There is a paid way where you get a number of keywords that you need to pay for, uh, but it does give you some good analytics. So I'll just show you an example of that. So if I just wrote camping and RV travel journal into Google, if I go down here, it will start to come up the related keywords. So I would write these down in my tracker and also these ones, any long tail keywords as well. But you can also write other things. So you just might want to write um, RV, uh, travel journal and when you do that the books will sort of come up so you can have a look and see what sort of books are coming up as a result then you scroll down and you can start to write these keywords into your tracker which you would enter just here so once you start to get a big list of your different keywords you can also do a filter which will help uh, so I'll show you that in a moment. What I might do is actually just move these ones across here. I'll move these two across here. And if we were to do a, um, a different, uh, or just to make sure that we're not duplicating any at all, we would highlight this. We would go to data. We would go to remove, oops, remove duplicates. And we go continue with the current selection and we would make sure that there's 26 duplicates found, 16 remain. And we just continue to make sure we're not duplicating any of those keywords. Now the next one um, I've used before, so it's just called keywordtool.io. What you would do is select Amazon. We would place in our, um, our keyword. I'll just um, go and grab that again and just enter it here. Then we can do United States, enter, and this will start to check everything we need. And you can use this tool for free, or you can subscribe to get the pro version, and that will give you um, more features to unlock. But at the moment, it's given us these, so we can start to write these words down again into our tracker and make sure we got it. Remember, if you want to unlock it, then you can uh, do subscribe for keywordtool.io. So that's another method, and I'll keep these links in the description below so um, you can track all the different ones that I use. So that's um, another way that I'd get keywords. Let's go to an, uh, another option for you to consider. So a further way is by using amazon-asin.com. What I do is I get for example, a ASIN number like this one. So this is under the camping and RV travel um, camping journal. What I need to do is go back to this one. I enter that ASIN number, then the book will come up. This will give you a range of different things that you can look at. And when you scroll down here, it gives you the main keywords that this book is tracking for. Again, it's a free tool that I use, and I'll leave this in the description below. So you can use the search volume information here to write that down. So again, you could um, print screen, go to here, 
I would then start to write down your keywords that you have in this area here and also the search volume and that will help you to gather more keywords you might already have some of these but it's worth just adding it so you uh, make sure you get everything that's possible uh, for your keywords which you can use for a whole range of things so just as a reminder that was called amazon-asin.com let me go to the next one i've got uh, two left actually three i've got three left that i can quickly show you as well the next one is helium 10. helium 10 is a subscription uh, based software i'll leave the links below for you if you're interested in helium 10 it's got plenty of features now we're going to be using the magnet 2 keyword research which is under here under magnet 2 what i then do is enter uh, our keyword and we get the keywords and then this will bring up a list of those keywords that we can then again place in our tracker to ensure we've got every single keyword that we need so if we scroll down here these are all the different keywords and um, you can um, add all these ones there's so many different keywords here that are fantastic as you can see there's plenty of them uh, that's available and to make it much easier you can export these into an excel format and you can grab all those keywords so that is a free that the way i'm using at the moment is free but you can use a paid version which gives you um, a significant boost to the capacity to be able to use this um, tool the software tool called helium 10. that's another one let's go to the last two i've now logged into bookbolt and i've used bookbolt a lot created plenty, plenty of videos on bookbolt uh, once you've logged in and again there's a subscription model uh, there's also a discount on the links below that i provided you go to keywords and what we're going to be doing is doing a search we add our main keyword in again camping and rv travel journal we do a search this will again bring up a lot more keywords and volume as well so you've got the most frequent keywords that have used so write those ones down in your tracker you've also got uh, the keywords here and also the Amazon search volume the Google search volume and it can take a little bit of time for up to upload and then you got the competition of da um, competition data as well you can download download those results again add them to your tracker uh, so there's 10 entries there uh, that you can use and you can use other phrases to search if you're not you know just wanting to use that one phrase you can extend it as well to use other ones so that's book bulb under keywords you can use that tool as well to extract more keywords for your title subtitle and seven backend keywords uh, so let's have a look at one last one and this final one is publishing a rocket so we go to the keyword search we would type in our main keyword again just keep on searching for different ones this will bring up all the keywords um, it might be just one sometimes it's better if you keep it shorter so we might just do camping journal and let's have a look and see how many keywords come up for this again we can filter through the ones that aren't applicable you can see there's a lot more by keeping it shorter you can uh, export these results into an excel spreadsheet and then you add those as well uh, so i'll quickly show you how to do that so you'd export we uh, export all then what we will do is just save that and i'll bring them up onto our tracker so i've now downloaded all those keywords i'll then grab all these keywords copy them go across to our tracker which is just here add all those keywords then we would do our duplicate removal we're going to continue with the current selection remove them all keyword 11 duplicates found removed so now we have all original keywords then we can start our process of adding the search results and also the number of books under 150,000. but use these keywords as well for title creation subtitle creation uh, so that is a great way of being able to use publisher rocket as well for those keywords uh, so all up there's um uh, there's over seven different ways that you can find keywords and 
that's just scratching the surface. There's plenty of other ways that you could look into it, but I've found these ways to be the most successful for my publishing as well. Um, so I hope you found that information useful. But remember to download the tracker, um, the niche tracker or the keyword tracker. I'll leave that in the links below, which will take you through to my Gumroad store and you can use that uh, when you grab all your keywords to make sure you're getting the uh, keywords into a uh, spreadsheet so you can keep track of them and uh, and use those towards all those different elements that you think they're going to be handy for particularly when you want to rank high for your books using the right keywords for your title and subtitle and those seven back end keywords is going to be critical to your success so you got to see the importance of gathering the right keywords making sure you keep track of the right keywords as well because you can use them in so many different ways. And one area that uh, we haven't mentioned during this video is using your keywords for Amazon advertising as well. And that is something where you need to gather a further list of those keywords. And you can even use a software, like I mentioned in the video called Publisher Rocket, and they will um, be able to bring up a list of the right keywords for your Amazon advertising. Uh, so Please remember to uh, make sure you give me a thumbs up if you've liked the video. You can subscribe and hit that notification bell as well. And I also um, want you to encourage you to go and look at the Publishing Accelerator, which is my course, because that might actually help you to accelerate your publishing journey as well. And I look forward to uh, bringing you more content in the future for my next video. See ya.